Hey there, this is Kritesh and welcome to TradeBeans YouTube channel. We recently launched a newer version of portfolio analysis tool on our TradeBeans portal and in this video I am going to give you a quick demo of how you can use our portfolio analysis tool to track and evaluate your portfolio. Now in order to use our portfolio analysis tool simply go to TradeBeans portal that is portal.tradebeans.in and here login using your email account or Google. So simply click on login and you can log in using your Google account. Once you have logged in next you need to do is go to tools and select portfolio analysis. Now this is a very powerful tool using which you can evaluate your the performance of the stocks that you are holding. So let's say you are holding 10-15 stocks in your portfolio and you want to evaluate whether they are doing good, they are doing bad, how much returns you got, how much returns in the terms of absolute percentage or absolute value, which stocks is giving you the best returns, which stock is not performing that good. Everything can be found out using our portfolio analysis tool. So let me give you a quick demo how you can use it. So the first thing that you need to do is to add stocks in your portfolio. Let's say you have bought some stocks 3 years, 4 years or 5 years ago or any time ago. First add those stocks in portfolio analysis. So let's start with the first stock. Let's say you have added HDFC bank. So simply type here HDFC and select the stock. Next you need to add the date, the date on which you bought the stock. So let's say you have bought this stock in January 2015. So just select to 2015 January and pick the date. So once you have picked the date, the price will be auto faced. However, if you want to edit the price, you can change the price also here. And finally add the quantity that is how many quantity of stocks you have bought on that date. Let's say you have bought 100 quantity of HDFC bank. Finally click on add. So once you have added your first stock, the charts will pop up. So the first chart is the size analysis. This chart shows you how the stocks are divided in your portfolio. How much allocation is in large cap stock, mid cap stock and small cap stock. Second is the chart. This chart shows how your portfolio has grown over time. So if you select all you can see how your portfolio has grown from 2015, 16, 17 to the till date that is January 2021. And finally there is an industry analysis which tells you how much allocation of your portfolio are in which industry. Currently 100% of your investments are in the bank that is in and also in the private bank sector. So let's add another stock. Let's say you also bought Asian Paints. So here simply type Asian Paints. And again select the date. Let's say you have bought this stock in 2016. So just go on 2016 and let's say you bought it in January 5th. Again the price will be auto fetched but let's say you want to change the price. You didn't bought it at 900, you bought it at 905. So just change the price and finally edit the quantity, how much quantity of stocks you bought. So again let's say you bought 100 quantity of stocks and click on add. So once you add the stock this will also be added to your portfolio. And for the sake, let's say we have we are also adding another stock in automobile industry. Let's say you bought Maruti Suzuki and you bought this stock in 2016 again in but in March and that date is 10th. That is 10th March 2016. Again the price will be faced and here again you bought 50 stocks of this company. So now that you have added three stocks in your portfolio, you can see all the different details about how your portfolio is doing. First in the size analysis, it's showing that 100% of your stocks is in large cap. This is because all three SDFC, Asian Pants, Maruti Suzuki is large cap stock and you have not invested in any small cap or mid cap stock. Second in the price chart, it shows how your, price, how your portfolio is growing. So first click on all then it will give you the returns from the start date till now. Now here two lines are there. One is in the blue color and second is in the green color. The blue one shows you the investment value and it's going to remain constant until and unless you buy a new stock. So let's say if you have invested one, lo one lakh in stocks, your investment value going is going to remain constant until and unless you buy another stock. However, the green line shows you the portfolio value. The value of the stocks will keep on changing depending on the current price of the shares. 
now here on the top you can see the invested this means that this is the invested value you have invested 3 lakh in stocks current shows you the current price of your portfolio that is the stock values has gone up over the time and that's why your investment of rupees 3 lakh has gone up to rupees 7.9 lakh and finally shows the profit and loss that is how much profit you have made in absolute numbers and also in terms of the percentage and finally you can also see the industry analysis and like how much you have invested in which industry here it shows you have invested 48 percent in automobile 20 percent in banking and remaining 31.8 percent in paint industry that is asian paint so this is how easy it is to track how your portfolio is doing further if you go down you can also see the individual returns like which stock has given how much returns so in the case of hdfc you can see the return is 235 percent in the case of Asian Bank, it's 177 and in case of Maruti Suzuki, it's 120. So by looking into this, you can find out which stock is performing very good and which stock is not performing that good. Further, if you see the second tab on this page, there is an option of trade record. So here all the records, all the buy and sell calls that you made will come here. So in future, if you want to go back and look into dates on what date we purchased, how many quantity, this can be maintained using the trade record. Third tab is realized profit. So if you sell any stocks which you have already bought previously, then its results will be added in the realized profit. That is the profits that you have booked. For example, let's say these were the three stocks that you were holding and out of which uh, you have sold 20 stocks of HDFC bank in 2021. So simply click on sell and here you can select the date. Let's say you sold it in January and uh, 5th January the price will automatically be fixed and finally you can enter the quantity you have sold the 20 quantity of this this stock and click on sell so once you have clicked on sell you can see that the quantity is has reduced from 100 to 80 that is your in your portfolio you only have 80 stocks 20 has been sold and that 20 stocks will go in the realized profit and here you can find out whether how much profits you have make and how much whether it was a long term profit short term profit how much stocks you have sold so these three tabs that is holding trade records and realized profits are the three most important tabs here finally the analysis tab will show how the charts are drawn and if you want to get into detail analysis of your portfolio so this is how simple is to create a portfolio on tradebeans portal and to track your investments so that's all for this video if you have any question or if you have any doubts about our portfolio analysis tool feel free to comment below in addition if you have any suggestion or any improvement request for our newly launched feature you can also comment it in the comment section we will try to implement it in the next version that's all this is kritish signing off have a great day